What's going on everybody? Jeff coming at you. Sorry I haven't done an updated video in a while and it seems like that is sort of the regular here at Molinelli Garage, but sometimes life gets in the way. So, had some pretty bad news. The 91 Civic Hatchback got stolen uh, last Thursday night, right outside my house actually. Um, must have pushed it out of the little parking spot I had in it. And uh, yeah, drove it off, didn't even hear it. I had my window open while I was sleeping, didn't hear the car turn on at all, and that's why I'm assuming that um, they push it out of the, the parking complex that I'm at. I just have a little townhouse with like one parking stall right outside my house, and yeah, they, uh, they boosted it from me, and the Civic was gone. I was heartbroken. So I had to act quick, and I had to buy something else. So I ended up getting a 94 Acura Integra. And it's a pretty clean car, except for, I don't know how well you guys can see this. The sun is blocking my view here. It's got some rot all here, typical Honda and Acura rot. This door right here is a little mangled. It looks like they had like a, a Bondo patch it here at one time, and it just rusted through and stuff. It's got about, oh, I don't know, eighth of an inch of Bondo right there. Um, but other than that, the car is pretty clean. See if I can get inside for you guys here. So, car's pretty clean, yeah. Now I got a steering wheel club. I've learned my lesson. Uh, car's got 267,000 kilometers. It is a B18B1 dual overhead cam motor. It is a five speed. Um, it's a pretty good running car. I got it for dirt cheap. And I think because the owner was just too lazy to wash the darn thing. When I pulled up with my girlfriend, it was filthy. So dirty. Looked like it had been off-roading and stuff like that. And I just fired it up. It's got some valve train noise on it and stuff. Um, I think it just needs a simple uh, valve lash adjustment. Um, but yeah, fired it up. Told the guy, yep, yeah, 1300 bucks, Canadian. And that was it. That was my car. I uh, drove it home that day, put plates on it and stuff. It's even got a factory Acura CD player and tape deck, which I'm sort of a geek for OEM stuff and tape deck, so I thought that was pretty cool. It's a sunroof car, all power options. Um, a beige interior, which sucks because the carpets are pretty dirty. I don't know if you can see. It's got some dirty mats. It's still winter here. In Canada, last week it was like 20 degrees and sunny. This week, it's uh, like minus five and snowy. So, um, yeah, it's a four-door sedan. It's a pretty decent car. Runs pretty good and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so right off the bat, <clears throat> I was like, okay, hey, well, this is going to be my new autocross car since the Civic was stolen and stuff. I'm supposed to be starting to autocross next month. And I was like, okay. Hey, what are the plans? Do I got to lower this car? Intake, headers. It's got a B18B. That's a really solid, good motor and stuff. Uh, this one does need a tune-up, does need some valve lash. It's not getting the best gas mileage right now. But it runs smooth and clean, so I know it's got good bones for it. So I was starting to think, you know, what, do, what does a feller do and stuff? Can you see that right there? Two days after I bought this car, the cops found my EF hatch. So this guy owns two Hondas now. So there's the Acura. And there's the hatch. She's back in all her rusty SIR wheel glory. So super happy. I was super, super bummed when this car was gone. So she's back in her spot. The steering wheel is removed, the battery is removed. There's no way they can take this car from me. I pulled the plates off and just put storage insurance on it. So that leads me to my next thing. <clears throat> what do I do with all these cars? Like I said, uh, I got autocross coming up next month. I'm super excited about that. Um, but now I got two cars and I'm daily driving the Integra. And it's got a motor in it that I always wanted to put in an EF hatch. 
EF hatches with B18s are pretty rad cars. Um, but then I got a D series that's in the Civic and that leaks oil profusely and has bad valve guides. So I was toying with so many ideas. Do I daily drive the Integra and do a full restoration on the hatch and do like a case swap or something like that, something super rad? Or do I put the B18 into the Civic? But then what do I do about a daily car? Because the Civic is awesome, but the Civic sucks in the wintertime. And I think the Integra would be a lot better. So then I toyed with the ideas of putting the B18 into the Civic and then doing something super crazy and weird and putting the D-Series in the Integra to make it um, a good running, you know, grocery getter or whatever. I've heard, you know, with D-Series and Integras and stuff, you can get upwards of 40 miles per gallon and stuff. But then there's so many things like I would need because I would take the transmission with the B18 and put that in the Civic, but then I couldn't put my cable tranny from the Civic into the Integra. So then I'd need a new tranny and then I'd have to look up axles for both the swaps and it's just a lot of headache. So I'm just going to do what I always do. Both cars have good bones to them. So the Integra, the springtime project is I'm going to show you guys how to repair rusted wheel arches and rockers the absolute wrong way with fiberglass and bondo because it's just going to be a daily driver I'm just going to keep it just like that the way it is with the motor that's in it don't have to do nothing i'm going to show you guys how to do valve lash adjustments how to do basic tune-ups how to get it running and driving good we're going to do some bondo in the rear quarters we're going to do some spray bomb action we're going to try and match that paint color Maybe put some different interior in it from like a gray or a black car and stuff and just have a nice clean daily driver. Possibly with some headers intake and exhaust because that's just the way we go sometimes. So that leaves me with the old EF hatch. Love that car. I have so much history, not only with that car, but with other EF hatches. They've just always spoken to me. I absolutely love that car and it ain't going anywhere. So before it got stolen and I didn't give you guys any updated videos, I started buying some things like, boom. So I bought two full quarter panel patch kits for the car. Both sides, I got a left and a right. Very, very nice quality. And these were from a company called uh, Mill Supply out of the States. I paid like $38 per side for these things. And they're really nice stamp steel. Um, I've already sort of test fitted them on the car, like the body lines, even where the tail lights go into, everything is like a perfect fit. I couldn't have got any better. So we got those to fix up um, the quarter panels on both sides of the hatch. And then it also has this part right here, which is the beginning of the rockers. My rockers are toast, but that's gonna give me a good template on what to do so I can go get some, whatever this is, 18 gauge or whatever steel, bend it so I can get some new rockers. So I had started with that. Oh, and yes, I have a toolbox in my living room. It's just the way it is. So I had started with that. And then I was like, okay, well, if it's gonna look way better, it's gonna drive way better. So then I got, Ooh, a full engine gasket set. This is from Engine Tech, good old Rock Auto. <clears throat> I've used these guys before on my Mustang build, and they're pretty decent gaskets. And literally, it's got every gasket in the engine. It's got head gasket, oil pan, intakes, exhaust manifolds, valve guide seals. Um, yeah, where are the valve? Those are all the valve guide seals and different o-rings it's got front and rear main oil seals it's got everything those are super cheap those are like 70 bucks shipped to my door so i got everything to strip because 